Enough is enough. Welcome in, everyone, to the Voice of College Football. Appreciate you stopping by for the best in discussion, debate, and analysis. April 15th is the end of tax season. It is now April 16th. What does that mean? It's the beginning of something that college football fans are becoming all too familiar with now, the beginning of transfer portal season. I consider myself a patriot. I believe wholeheartedly in capitalism, in freedom of speech, freedom of choice, freedom of opportunity, freedom of movement. Absolutely. But with those freedoms come responsibility, come accountability with those freedoms to make the marketplace safe for everyone and beneficial to everyone. There have to be regulations in the form of restrictions. Let's go to the latest. This one comes courtesy of one Penny Boone. He is a running back from Toledo who was the MAC Offensive Player of the Year just in 2023. That season ended only three months ago. In 2023, he was a running back for the Toledo Rockets. He has since transferred to Louisville. And now what do we see today? Panay Boone told ESPN Monday that he plans to enter the transfer portal, marking his second transfer in four months. Boone left Toledo and entered the portal in January, choosing the Cardinals. He started his career at Maryland before transferring to Toledo. Forgot about that, where he was the MAC Offensive Player of the Year in 2023. He ran for 1,400 yards, 15 touchdowns last season, was ranked eighth among all FBS backs in rushing yards and number 11 in rush yards per game. He's a good player. Boone was a big addition, was supposed to be a big addition, was expected to be a big addition, would have been a big addition for the Louisville staff as leading rushers Jawar Jordan and Isaac Rorendo are both gone. Here's the deal. I believe in everything I just stated about freedom of movement, choice, opportunity, and such. I believe in that wholeheartedly. However, there is also responsibility here. There is accountability. There is something called commitment. When these players transfer, do they just show up one day and say, hey, I'm here, let's go? No, there's documentation, there's an agreement, there is something stated in writing. It's called a contract. If they have fully transferred, which of course they have, they have been given a scholarship. That scholarship is a binding contract. It needs to be now stipulated that these players are contractually obligated to stay at that university for one season. That needs to be the baseline of all transfer portal transactions going forward. You need to stay for one football season. You need to be a productive member of this football team that you made a commitment to, that you signed and agreed to through a scholarship for one season. Listen to this. Not only in this case... Panay Boone, and in the case of Caden Proctor, don't get me started on Caden Proctor, but it looks like we already have. Let's discount the whole commitment farce that is becoming a farce, even more so than it's always been through high school football recruiting. In the case of Caden Proctor, of course, keeping the poor Iowa faithful on the hook for months and months and months and months and months concerning that commitment, he then changed his mind on National Signing Day, or the day before. Yes, he changed his mind. He signed, and then he plays for Alabama for a season. Great for him. He did stick it out for one season. Then he initially transfers to Iowa. Then we know the whole story. He is transferred back or is reportedly transferring back to Alabama. Let's keep all of this in mind. And this is going on now with this Louisville, or can we even call him a Louisville running back, as was cited in the ESPN article? I don't know what else to call him, but he was never a Louisville running back. He produced nothing for Louisville football. He contributed zero to Louisville football. No, 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 Mark, you're wrong. You're wrong, Mark. Step back that comment. He didn't contribute nothing. He contributed less than nothing because he took from the Louisville football program. So there is a coaching staff that had to take up its time and effort and resources to invest in this young man, to pursue him, to contact him, to have conversations with him. They brought him on campus, I'm sure. 
That happens 99% of the time. Brought on campus, that involves money, time, travel, resources. He has been with the program, I believe, for four months. What has he been doing for four months? He's been using their practice facilities, workout facilities, eating their food, wearing their gear, and he is going to contribute nothing, zero. Even if he participated in spring practice, guess what he did? Was that contributing to the team? Well, if he would have stayed with the team to play with Louisville for 2024, that would have been a contribution to the team and the team's success because he would have been there. But he only took up a roster spot. He only took reps from somebody else that needs those reps to contribute to Louisville football. So he is just just suffocated and siphoned out of the Louisville football program. He has not been a big zero. He's been a big minus. That has to stop.